Well, I think the 2020 vision is uh, just where we should be going. I think it's concise. I think it's dramatic. Uh, and uh, it'll save a lot of lives and improve quality of life for women and for men. Uh, you know, it really is quite thrilling to see this kind of continuity. So often in science, we tend to look at study, one study and another study, and get confused about the two. Here, we're seeing an approach which is very integrated. It doesn't mean there aren't differences of opinions or of inter interpretation, but it does dramatically mean that we have, um, through th this incredible base of science, that it's continued to be uh, based on the issue of men and women. And men have been brought into it, as inevitably they did, the first 20 years maybe were catch-up. We, we had to demonstrate that there were differences between men and women, and there were consequential differences that affect morbidity and mortality. That has been shown. Uh, we've seen how to save lives because of it, and now we move into the second phase, taking advantage of the interdisciplinary work, the multidisciplinary work, and moving out into issues like social determinants, uh, the ecological so-called issues uh, that really have never been addressed uh, in any major clinical trial. So I think that uh, women's health has led the way, not just for women's health, but also uh, for all of medicine in terms of taking this holistic approach. I'll tell you, years ago, I used to use the word holistic, and people wrinkled their nose. It was kind of a new age. It was seen as sort of something new age to talk about holistic. Now, I'm actually hearing it from basic scientists that we have to look holistically. We have to integrate uh, what goes on within the cell, what goes on within the organism, what goes on in the public health environment, in the social environment. Uh, and that is truly exciting to see this, this culture change and it, you have to have a culture change if you're going to affect any lasting change.